Hey everybody, welcome to Reality Gaze. This is Maddie. Poodle is just fixing himself a he's fixing himself a drink right now. We're walk this below deck. Well, we have a very you might hear some music in the background, but um we have a very special guest with us today. Y'all, we've got Gerald the floating unicorn. Hi everybody. I know I am I've been very popular. Oh, listen, y'all. Potum, where, where are Potum, you? Potum, I know you want to take me home. Potum, I'm in a beef Ger- girl. Okay, Ger- Gerald, could you just tell them to turn down the music so we can hear you, Gerald? Oh, sorry. 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 Clarence. Clarence. That's my brother-in-law. Okay. Okay. Louisa. We got- Louisa. Right. Turn it- That's my wife. Uh, she's she's come on. Your the wife? Trip. Your yes. wife. We've your, been we've been your married, wife, Louisa. Yeah, she's she was on the trip. You saw her. She was the little pool float, the little one that the fat oh, queen was wearing. Oh, oh, that was yeah, your wife. Oh, that's okay. my wife. Oh, we wow. we have been together. We have fourteen years of wedded bliss. Do y'all have a lot of sex? Not familiar. <laughs> it's actually hard because she's so little. You know, okay. she can ride on me, but that's okay, kind of it. Um, Gerald, I'm really impressed that you, yeah, you've really traveled around the world. Girl, I've been around the world and I, 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 <laughs> I find my baby everywhere. What's next? For really? You? What's next for you, Gerald the Unicorn? You know, I got a lot of things. I got a lot of irons in the fire, but don't uh-huh. put it too close because I'm actually will pop. If you actually put iron, well, you know, you, you'll I'm melt. Starting my, I'm starting my, I'm starting my cool for the summer stand up comedy pool float tour. Oh, would would who you like, knew the first? Who, would you do have a joke prepared for us right now? Can you tell us a joke? Uh, you know, I, I telling jokes. I I don't tell jokes per se. You're, I just get my experience your observational tell, oh, comedy what the comedy i do is 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 more let's call it creative and okay. um it's kind of above what you would normally do it's very niche okay um i tell long form stories that are thoroughly and integrated with my message of inclusion and acceptance oh well happy pride gerald i love that what do you mean pride well, everybody, thanks, Gerald, for being here today. We appreciate you, know, you. People talk about pride. I don't know. I I'm just covered in rainbows because that's what that's what that's that's God's promise, you know. All right, Gerald, we're gonna see. It's God's, prom- it's God's promise <laughs> to Noah. Uh, well, uh, two by two, you and your wife can and go. God up. promised me that I will be saved if I am with a woman. So you've never pool float. you've never looked at a pool float of a big, long, girthy, thick alligator with one of them oh. alligator tail with those handles that you just hang on to on back. You never looked at them and thought about sinning just a little. You know what? Me and an alligator had a thing in college one time, and you can kind of grab on to the little alligator uh, handles. Uh huh. And I kind of grabbed onto that, but I didn't put anything in. So, oh, then you're fine. You're, I you're, think it's fine. You're still going to go to the course, gates. I have definitely took, I've definitely dipped my unicorn horn in lots of pools, if you know what I mean. But, um, yeah. All I know is, girl, padam, padam, I want to make me feel it. Padam, padam. That's my song of the summer. I've always loved Mistress Kylie Minogue. I don't know why. There's just something well, about her. She is a gay icon. Not familiar. All right, Gerald. We're going to see you. Thanks for right. being on the show. I'm going to go with, I'm gonna go with these other queens. All right. Later. Have fun. Later. Hey, tell you, tell your wife we said hi. Who? Oh, okay. <laughs> Poodle, you're back. You missed it. Oh, I love Gerald when he shows up. This is Below Deck Sailing Yacht, everybody. Below Deck Sailing Yacht. Y'all, I got to say... This charter was lovely. The guests were lovely. But I feel like I felt when I would come home from working a Pride weekend at the bookstore. I can't handle any more Pride. I can't handle any more 
rainbow. I can't handle any more synthetic fibers. <laughs> a lot. I it was a lot, and I'm glad that Pride. I'm 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 I am thankful for what Pride is and what people and the barrier breakers who brought I mean, Pride I mean, need Pride still. I it was just a lot. It was a lot in two episodes. I felt like it was like three Pride dinners and the costumes. I I feel like. I feel like I would be really tired. <laughs> yeah. With 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 wearing so many things. I think the pride dinner was enough, but I don't think we needed costumes both nights. Um yeah. but they were lovely. Because you wouldn't if you were on a ship. But I've gotta say, they they really did ring out every single gay thing about pride. They, <laughs> out they of, got it out all of a gay in there. Flag. They they turned it in all the sweat, like Harvey Milk sweat. <laughs> Just poured out of it. <laughs> Y'all, this is episode 14 oh. called Hurricane Bonnie, but we've also already, we're getting, remember y'all, like Gay Pride, we're getting DP'd. So there's two episodes. <laughs> so uh, episode 15. We're putting them in the same episode. We're putting them in the same episode um, called, and that episode called She Loves Me Not. Um, Again, I don't know why they're doing this. We honestly don't enjoy it. This whole like double it. And honestly, for us, I've told Poodle, I said it makes it, it, makes like it almost, drudgery. It makes it almost like a chore to watch two episodes. I really like they're They're not bad episodes, but it's just too much. It's too much below deck. So anyway, um, but we're going to do both of these episodes. Hopefully we'll get through all of it. I don't know. Poodle's family's coming over and he has to make dinner at his mother's house. <laughs> so we might get interrupted by his nephews and niece and we'll have to just end the show. <laughs> Screaming and bang banging on the door because they don't mind good. <laughs> So let's just get into it. Announcements, shm announcements. It doesn't matter. Announcements. We're going on vacation next week. We'll catch up on the shows later on. All right, Poodle, what's your first tea bag? Um, my first tea bag is Captain Glenn, low key humiliating Daisy with the radios and Gary. It, I laughed. I, oh, and, and just trolling her. Gary or Daisy turned down her radio and they all don't like to be. And so the fact that you Gary's, know that Daisy, like someone she was talking on the walking days, it was like, it could be good. Shit up. And she turned it down and forgot to turn it up. And y'all Daisy won't admit it. So Captain Glenn's like, we're going to do a test on the radios at every part of the boat. If you can hear me. And of course, Gary is doing, it's like loud and clear, Glenn. <laughs> 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 and Colin just goes, they're just taking the piss out of him now. Um, and just was laughing about it. It was this great. was hysterical. This is the thing, y'all. Glenn uh Glenn loves he he doesn't take life too seriously, and he's also he's not immune to a little fun. No. And uh it's why he'll he's my favorite captain. Same. I love him. Yeah. yeah. He's my anyway. favorite. But I, I loved that. Uh, it was a moment in, in, because I think I think even though the, like the, this charter has been good, Daisy has really had a bad season. She's Her not been on both. a game. And no, I think I've decided I am tired of Gary. I'm tired I'm of the same thing. I'm tired of the same behavior. And I got to a point where I can't just continually say, Oh, well, it's just Gary being Gary. No, nope. because because he's in a weird way, he's aware of it. He's aware of it, yeah. And so I not just, in a not in a weird way, in a very clear way, he's aware of it. And so I don't know why we should continue to tolerate it. Yeah. Um, I feel like there's going to be a t point in time. Uh, this is a spoiler, and I I need to say this. Um, spoiler alert! If you're worried, do we want to hear about what next season? It's been it's been uh, Polo Deck Yacht Sailing. Some are wondering: Was Daisy going to be back? Is Gary going to be back? Um, we were thinking they weren't. On there were pictures they are filming currently in Ibiza, and ah. both Daisy and Gary were photographed. Who but knows? No if Colin. They're Colin, but no Colin. Now he might not have been there that night. But uh, and it looked like a completely new group of 
deckies, and stews. All right, then. So that's that's where we are with that. I think I think Gary is going to have a lot to answer for on the reunion. Um, because Andy Cohen's going to like Gary. Why are you such a jerk this season? I mean, really, yeah, he is that wonky eye. Um, he is. Anyway, what's your next tea bag? <clears throat> um, Chase says I'm a ten. I'm tall and I have a massive cock. And we saw it in the speedo. Did I, you see it? I wanted to say, oh God, he's so full of himself. He does not have a massive cock. Holy, it's not massive. holy shit! But it's that's big. a big dick. It's big. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> when we saw it, I went. I, we. I think Chase has no game, and he's so off on it that it completely confused the gift, and you couldn't see the. I dick, totally what agree. The dick was you couldn't I failed. See it. You failed. You failed, but I don't blame you for failing because you were hornswoggled. I was I was bamboozled. You were. You I was were hornswoggled. I was beguiled. Beguiled. I, <laughs> do you think Chase is too good of a too good of a Southern boy to get on OnlyFans? Yeah. Damn. Sadly. Damn. But you know who's not? Talon. <laughs> Of uh of of miserable bitch and Johan Talon, the basketball player that she dated before. Yes, because y'all just this morning said said morn. We got obviously Talon listens or someone sent him sent her our podcast. Like just so y'all know, a week and counting, Miss Talon, which I wasn't sure if it was a real name or not, uh, has an OnlyFans. We're not yes. we're not. You better not join it with the business card. You can join. You can do what you can do what you want to on your own. Um, I'm not going to. Re- I'm not going to report and say that he hasn't shown dick yet at all. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. There's a post that says it's coming on Wednesday. You better not have been doing what? that. I ha- I am checking I, the charges. I have to do the work. <laughs> I have to do the research. Anyway, anyway, but it also proves, y'all, the reason he found out about us is because Miserable Bitch listens to our podcast. <laughs> she told she him. Does. She told him. She does. She does listen. I like it how somehow she's managed to pimp two of the men who've been in her yep. life on to showing she, their dicks. She probably helped him run it. Oh, yeah. Anyway, um, we'll find all out about her on the other way coming up. Um, okay, uh. so, so that was my, what's your next teabag? Um, what I think Hurricane Bonnie was exactly what we needed this episode. I'm a little mm-hmm. upset she didn't stay longer. I wanted two episodes of her, yeah. It really did look like they just copy-pasted Daisy and put dark hair on her. It did. Um, it did. They're very similar. I think Bonnie might be a little more earthy than Daisy because she even said, this one's fancy. And – And just shit sir. She's more of a shit sir. Oh, than yeah. And what I what – I, and even though I think I liked it what uh, Daisy said, you know, my sister also walked, works on yachts as a chef, but I would never, ever work with my sister. <laughs> And the saddest thing is they haven't seen each other in three years because they both do this kind of work. Yeah, and for and COVID, a lot of times, that too, yeah. You're never you're never in the same place. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, what did you think about what Bonnie said to Gary and to say about, about Colin and and uh and Daisy being together? She's like, this guy's like me. Uh talking about Colin. He's kind of like you know, low key and blah blah blah. It's like you need someone who's like more. You're fancy. You need you need someone who needs you more. Um, I think she called it. I think she did too. Yeah. And Colin, of course, calls like, "What the fuck is going on?" Here's the deal, and you see it even in the next episode. If Daisy didn't want Gary, she wouldn't let him flirt with her. She wouldn't let she. And she wouldn't flirt back. And she wouldn't. I was just about to say. And she wouldn't flirt back. No, she it's can't a, stop flirting with him. It's it's kind of why I can't 
whenever now what I hate is when he kind of gets closer and's like give me a kiss Daisy give me a kiss gross the, the I hate that um, me too. but I can't but I can't ev- she continues to be his best friend in a lot of ways and yeah. to and she says things like gonna wear a speedo or or um or she she flirts back. She definitely she flirts back. back. She even says, like, I don't know what to do. Like, do I put a boundary up for Gary yes. or Colin? Um, but I still like Colin. And I went, no, if you really like someone, you put a boundary up for them. So Here, you don't really like him. Here's what I think. I think she's too afraid to really move forward with Colin because she's afraid she's going to lose Gary. And no. then even, even though I could tell her uh, – a thousand times you won't lose gary no you won't as long as you're not into him then you won't ever lose him because agreed. he's going to keep pursuing people he's who aren't into him agreed agreed uh, i i just i think this is such a messy season yeah, i've enjoyed no. watching it play out i think i hit my limit this episode um because it, it yeah, it. I'm kind of over the drama. It was nice with Bonnie coming in. Like I really, I really enjoyed Bonnie just trolling Chase and Chase throwing himself at Bonnie, thinking he's going to get laid, <laughs> and instead she like flirts with everyone but him and then makes out with Alex right in front of him. Right, in, and I wrote, "That's poodle energy." <laughs> mm-hmm. If I knew someone wanted me. I would make sure I got along to everybody else at the party before I knew the sure bet. The sure bet. Like I yeah. almost, if you would have asked me, I would have said that you, that Poodle and Daisy sometimes have a little bit of the same energy, like work ethic. But now in looking at Bonnie, I went, no, no, it's Bonnie. Poodle's a Bonnie. Daisy's more of a, I'm M- Maddie's more of a Daisy. Agree. 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 Because I wouldn't know how in that, I, I wouldn't know about, I wouldn't want to tell anyone, no, I wouldn't want anybody to be upset with me. And, and I think Daisy has this too, another part of me would never want to put a boundary and turn someone away because what if they moved on and didn't love me? Exactly. That, I think that's for this, undercurrent for Daisy. your codependence. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Sad, really. <laughs> uh, the thing about it is you can always find someone at the end of the night. That's Just a Bonnie. Remember, that's a Bonnie statement. There are lots of fish in the sea. Uh, let's just can we talk about the charter guests? I already said before. Um, I must say I need to read this verbatim because I thought these charter guests were going to be insufferable, but I think on on paper they were a lot more yeah worse they than they great, were yeah. But the guys, I don't expect. Um, the chef to be as well versed in international cuisines as I am, and so I don't expect to provide them me with any dishes that aren't in their wheelhouse. And um, my preferences supersede those of my guests. Wow! Now, thankfully, that bark was worse than his bite. Way he worse. Was lovely. You know what he reminded me of? Like the gay version of the cr- Ghosts of Christmas Parent. Pre- pre- Ghost of Christmas Present in the Mickey's Christmas Carol <laughs> with that thing on his head. He's like, oh, with yogurt, with with, oh, yogurt, yeah. with yogurt, with yogurt. <laughs> Scrooge, you have been. And he's like looking in people's houses. That's ah! true. That's it. <laughs> this is the, the milk of human kindness. That was the gayest ghost. He well, was. This- I don't know. Bob Marley with all those chains. <laughs> Goofy. The glories you'll. Girl, also, that was Ebenezer, you that's said, a you, big dick, Ebenezer. You just said Bob Marley, and all <laughs> I can think of is, let's <laughs> get together and read the Christmas Carol. I re, I re, I got get together. the Christmas spirit. <laughs> wow, I said one Bob love. love, one love. One. One life, let's get <laughs> together and Jacob Marley. <laughs> yeah, Bob Marley would never tell Ebenezer Scrooge to get his. He would say, "Well, he actually he would say, be nice and just smoke some pot.'" 
I think it would, he would just give give Scrooge a doobie, and everything would be fine. Everything would be fine. <clears throat> um. Anyway, what's your next one? Did I, um, I was going to talk about the guests, but I yeah. I thought they were all fine. Uh, I there were I was kind of disappointed that that every time someone says water sports, the gays didn't make a joke. Come on, <laughs> agreed, agreed. Um, there were so many opportunities missed. That I agreed. Um, because they did it about other things. Yeah. My my next tea bag was. Again, this is a thing I'm getting sick about with Gary and that like Gary now is just and he does it really a lot at the end of episode 15. He's just now like fucking with and he and using mad mads as a play. He even says it when he says it to Daisy. Are we just using them to make the other one jealous? Daisy's not. But Gary yeah, full on is. The thing is. Gary can't Gary Mads because she's smarter than him. But this whole bullshit where he's like, I like you. I think you can maybe be in my life. And then they cut to 20 minutes, 20 minutes earlier when he was trying to kiss Daisy. He's such a shit. I'm just, that was when I was like, I'm out on him. I think it's compulsive. I think, I think it's compulsive. I think it is completely behavioral. I think it is a real problem. I do too. Um, it will never let him grow up. Uh, it's not funny like it used to be anymore. No, um, it's gross. It's gross. And but it's I, beautiful that Mads is like having fucking none of it. It is, but at the same time, she in the in episode fifteen, she crawls back into his bed. Well. Because she knows that that she knows she's gonna yeah I I don't know why I I think the only reason she does is because she gets too horny and Alex isn't gonna fuck her on the boat yeah because right. he knows that Gary is going to act like a shit about it also I don't think Alex wants to hook up with someone on camera maybe I'm wrong maybe I mean he even yeah. said or later on he's like it's like I came here to learn about sailing guess I'm not gonna get that because Gary hasn't done anything. Mm-hmm. Um, I wanted to uh, one more thing about the guests. I did like the Paul Lynn joke that was, oh, an amused boosh. Oh, I love being amused, amused, especially in your boosh. <laughs> Very <laughs> Paul Lynn. <laughs> it was Paul. Um, Lynn. That was a Paul Lynn joke. It was Let's very, be honest. These y'all, these queens were our a uh, just not there much older than us. They we would have had a ball with them. One of them was named Wickerliff, <laughs> which really does sound like a hobbit. It does. Uh, Wicker, <laughs> did someone say it, hobbit? Yes, yes. Here I am. Dildo oh, no. Swaggins is here for your yes. Wickerliff is my is my old chum. You know, there's a section of. Gay hobbits from there's the Shire, but then there's also um the old holes of of river bottoms. <laughs> yes, yes, they're they're hobbits. Instead of big feet, they have big dicks. Big oh, dicks. Okay. Very very could, big dicks. I could see that coming a mile away. Yes. Uh, mom, uh, stop texting me. Wagon. I'm talking to my <laughs> friends, mom. Stop. Jacob! Jacob! Yes, I'm back. I'm back. Yes, uh, you friend. What? Here. <laughs> friend, what's wrong? You're looking over your shoulder like the eyes of Mordor are looking straight at you. <laughs> they, someone must be staring at you like yes. a like a beastly dog my, name. My, my parents are wondering why I'm screaming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, must it's such a problem? Yes, but um, I feel like I should go now because hobbits yeah. don't do well at sea. We're not sea fair. We're I, much more land. I'm, I'm getting seasick, but I want to say, if you ever need me, Witherfell, I am your servant. Well, thank you, Dildo Swaggers. We haven't seen you in a while. You're welcome. Mom, I'm mm. coming. I'll be right there. Anyway, I can't scream as the mom anymore because my father was my father still doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the last thing I want to say about this episode 
personally is Alex was watching a tape about multiple male orgasms because of course he was or a DVD or that not turned DVD, you, that YouTube turned video. you on. I, Y'all, he puts his hair back and he goes down on you for like 20 minutes just getting you ready. I know no, that's true. I don't know. I don't know if it's that long, but he's trying to mail. I think I guarantee you he's tried to find Tantra. Oh, yeah. Before. I, I want to say this. I do love how Colin is totally, even in this episode, is like Gary's being a douchebag. And you see, mm-hmm. like, he's trying to laugh about it, but you see the anger of Colin is coming up and up and up. And, and we'll see it next episode. He talks about his relationship with Gary. None of that mattered because those fucking fried olives looked so fucking <gasps> amazing. I've I, never had I fried say- olives. A fifth, a ten course dinner. I'm so impressed with Alicia. Um, like she's up there. Well, and then there was, there was a a flower blossom, and then I didn't know it. She stuffed the flower blossom. She stuffed it, and then I went, "Wait a minute, is that why those guys in the bar when we were on tour in Columbus kept calling you flower blossom?" <laughs> You know, there's nothing better than a stuffed flower blossom or a stuffed poodle. All right. Let's stuffed move on. Stuffed squash blossom. Stuffed squash. Let's move on to episode two. Y'all, I, we got to keep going because Poodle keeps looking over his shoulder, kind of like he's a high schooler watching porn for the first time. It and he's does worried about you. feel like that because we're, I'm in a room with two wind, mirrored window doors and they just <laughs> keep staring at me. <laughs> I tried to get this done before before everyone got home, but literally I had to fi- I had to teach my mom how to use her new iPad for an hour. <laughs> Y'all, I'm tech support when I'm at home and the chef, apparently. And the um, chef. All right, we're gonna jump into it. We're so, on She Loves Me Not episode fifteen. Yeah. Gary and Colin, it starts with them having this conversation. And even though Colin is hearing Gary out at the same time, he's like, I think it's healthy for him to be taken down a pig. I think I think Colin Colin always likes Colin's always done a little bit of that shit stirring. Now it feels personal. It does. Um, it's gonna build. And I just I don't know. Uh, I liked it. There was one moment that Colin r- realized he fucked up with Alicia when he said, uh, the chef last year was really, really good. And he even said, good job for you, Alicia, with that 10 course meal. The chef last year needed help. That was a redemption. So, yeah. I even though it went on till 12 a.m., I got to say, my acid reflux would be so terrible that night when I went to bed. <laughs> well, you can't go to bed for an hour and a half. Yeah. Oh, uh, anyway, do you, um, did, at the very end of that last episode, they kind of continued it with this where Gary got offended, but by mad saying that she wished she'd kissed Alex sooner instead of Gary, did you buy it or was it Gary using it to make her feel worse? Ding, ding, ding. Gary doesn't yeah. care. Gary doesn't care that she said it. He's just using it to make her feel worse and also to get sympathy. He thinks he's going to try to get any sympathy from Daisy that he can. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Um, I was upset at him. And then they just showed a clip of Gary just touching himself in his underwear in bed. (laughs) Yep. And I went, is he jacking off? No, he just does that all the time. Uh, Did you, did you notice that the costumes that the, the guests were wearing on their pride night dinner we're like the ones we got from Nozama. Y'all, they are also clients of the Couture House of Nozama. They are our people. <laughs> they are our people, y'all. Um, what's your next one? Um, again, Chase is, we're going to bring it up again. Chase is trying to put his humongous dick in this banana hammock, as he says. Yeah. And again... I thought he was making it up. And then Chase and Gary just parade by the gay men. And it looks like with the they walk by this gaggle of gays and it almost looks like like a like an antelope with a very shiny, bright white ass just walking by a, a pride of lions. Yes. Old gay lions. Old scub like ten scars. 
Yeah. <laughs> Tense cards are just like, well. Be prepared. <laughs> Y'all, it's so easy with gay men. You don't have to give us that great service. You just need to give us gay food and guys in their underwear, and we're fucking going to tip you $30,000. And we're fine because we want to be loved. And, and we want to be loved. And you know what? The drinks were probably easier, too, because... We don't want fucking espresso martinis. We don't want these boozy ass drinks. What do we want, Poodle? We want double vodka sodas. <laughs> That's what we want. We ju- we want just a full on liquor because we want to get to it. That's why we're pretty easy on these type of charters. Yep. I would be the easiest charter guest. It's so I easy. Would be, I would be the easiest because I'd be so worried about being mean to anyone because I would want them to like me, especially if it's on television. Yes. Oh, I'd be so worried. And I will say, whereas you kind of got sick of it, it made me feel very in touch with pride because they went all out with the decorations and everything. Um, so I, I just, I just I hit my wall. Pretty. I just hit my wall with it. When I would work pride weekends, I'm like, by Sunday, I'm like, I'm so tired of this. I get it. I'm so tired of, of, of rainbow and up with everything. <laughs> It kind of going off the point of Gary and saying that though, Alex is like, yeah, I'm better than Gary. I know it, but yeah. that's kind of when I realized I don't think Alex is going to do anything no. to change this. Give, give me a rainbow flag with like six different shades of gray, and then I can watch some type of. <laughs> wow, uh, <laughs> what's your next tea bag, poodle? <laughs> wow, that's depressing. I want to say that the next charter is also a gay charter, and we have a thruple, y'all. We've got a freaking thruple who's going to want to eat 400 grams of protein a day. Yeah, yeah. That, I think they're going to be more high maintenance. Um, I, I totally agree. What did you think about um, – so Mads can kind of overhear Gary and Lucy. Gary's trying to talk to Lucy about Mads and mm-hmm. be like, oh, she said this about me. Da, da, da. Alex, ba- Mads is like, Alex and Mads are kind of talking about it. And Alex is like, well, you kind of started this. And Mads is like, no, I didn't start it. And I actually think that's true. Mads hooked up with Gary, but Mads did not to start this whole relationship. She was very upfront with Gary about how she wanted to treat this from the beginning. No, I think she was. I think also, though, Mads isn't establishing a boundary because she also wants to have She goes Gary. back in bed with him, yeah. She also wants to have Gary there whenever she wants. So this is this is everyone wanting to have their cake and eat it, too. Um, it's messy. Gary's trying to kiss her again, and this whole thing where Colin, and, Colin sees, he's like, he's a desperate man. He calls it. He says, when Gary's ego feels attacked— he he's got to get with some woman because he has to be with some woman, right? And even even Gary is hurt. His ego is so fragile because he's hurt because Mad's talking about being with Alex. And uh, later earlier, there's a scene, and I want to just be super clear about this because um, we're gay men, so we don't know. I know that that uh, it is when a when a woman is on her period you're going to hear kind of talk about this and I'm not going to weigh on either side because we've never done that. <laughs> we've never done so that. So we don't have a lot of experience with that. I do want to say what I heard from when she's like, oh, I'm bloated. I don't want to do with anything tonight. And he's like, why are you bloated? Alex was because Alex is being kind of a low dick, like a low key dick to her. He kind of is starting to. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Well, he's been doing it for a couple episodes, but it's getting worse. Um, and and she's like, oh, I got my period. And then it's almost like either she realized she wasn't supposed to say it because she was on camera. And she's like, oh, just kidding. But she said, just kidding. And I was yeah. like, I I don't know why. You, I Maybe she is. Maybe she's not. Maybe she's covering. Um, I think what what this what happened at the end of this episode, though, was really, really awful. And I don't know. I don't know. I think it's a it's a it's an it's an intersection of a lot of things about women's bodies and the things that men find either sexual or 
uh, completely gross sometimes that men men have about women on their periods and uh, these ideas of of how, and that women are disgusting when they're on their yeah, period during, yeah so that yeah. that kind of cultural concept uh and i think we're going to get a lot more talk of that next week um you can say we'll that off from <laughs> we'll be off from gary finally hurt her because when mm -hmm. he went up to her because basically gary finds out what's really concerning about this is that let's, let's explain what happened if you don't watch the show yes so but gary went down on mads and and through either alex or colin like oh they're here oh my god um anyway sorry <laughs> <laughs> Poodle's family's here. Show's over. <laughs> Either Alex or Colin told Gary, you go down on Mads last night. Oh, it's she was on her period. And the fact that they thought they could just talk about it is pretty awful. Um, that that yes, and that he should have been known and been privy to when her like and then well, bring it up publicly. It's to be to be fair, to be fair, if there is there is an expectation for some. But that's for a men private. That. That's a private it is. thing. It is for it to be talked about publicly, and he should like, have never done it in front of Lucy. He should have never done or, it in front of Lucy, yeah. and especially on duty. On you know? yeah, it was really fucking gross. It was. It was really awful. And but it, it was even worse for me how the men were just banding it, bandying it around, yeah. talking yeah. about talking yeah. about <clears throat> her body. It was gross. It was gross. Yeah. Um, yeah. That was one of those moments where I just went, oh, I think I'm done with this season. Yeah. I think I'm, I'm done with, with, with talking about these people. Um, I believe y'all, we have, there, there are two more episodes next week, which we, which will be out, out of, and then the reunion on the 18th or maybe there are two more episodes. I just want to say this. It felt like Gary couldn't find a way to take Mads down, and he finally found something that he knew could take her down a peg or try to. I agree. And then it felt it's, like it's men. Kind of gross feeling it felt that like way. men and Alex, too. Like you said, it felt like men trying to put women in her place because they hadn't been able to do that with Mads. Well, she's pretty much being transgressive about what people have done in the past. They've usually, yeah. usually the men on the boat have had their run. Yeah, and Mads has kind of decided what she wanted to do, even though she's been with Gary. Yeah, y'all, that's it. There's some other stuff that happened that we were going to talk about, but Poodle's nieces and nephews showed up, <laughs> and they're about to barge into the room, and we can't think, talk about period talk in front of the five year old kids. No, I don't think we can. I didn't. I didn't have any. I don't have anything else. I don't think it's I had fine. Anything. Um, Lucy getting hit in the head with a fucking champagne bottle. Which she almost happened before. Hit yeah. her. Yeah. Like she's just comical. Y'all that's your below deck this week. We're wrapping things up. Um, have a great holiday. We appreciate you so much. Lord, we're doing the week. best we can, but there's just fireworks going off literally metaphorically and everywhere in our lives. Y'all, we, we never knew that the busiest week we would have would be the week, first when of all, the week I'm in South Carolina and the week before our vacation. Trying to go on vacation. Well, your vacation and my just trying to have a fucking surgery I've always wanted to have. Ugh. Anyway, y'all. Well, enjoy your tummy is. tuck. Isn't that what it is? Yeah, the whole body lift. That's it. <laughs> All right, everybody. We'll see you next week. We got to get the fuck out of here. Until next time, what do we say, Poodle? Anchors again. Yay!